Hey guys, Silence here. here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day playing Uta Macross on the 1st of April. Yes, today is technically April Fools. Um, so don't believe most of the news out there. But there are some news that I have to bring forward to you guys that are definitely true. Nothing false about it. <laughs> I don't really lie in my information. Um, I do make mistakes though, but you know. Uh, when that happens, of course, I try and uh, rectify things with you guys. Anyways, let's start things off with some of the real world news first. Um, so for those of you guys who are following me on Instagram, um, for those of you who are not, make sure you go over to Instagram, links down in the description below as usual. And make sure you follow me there if you want to keep things updated with all things Macross, anime, you know, the stuff, the stuff that I like uh, that you probably, hopefully, will like to. <laughs> or are already in love with. Um, so yes, real world news regarding Macross related um, personnel. So yes, I'm sure most of you guys who are Macross fans and are of course following all the information that is Macross modelers will probably know that Nishida Nozomi who plays the voice of um, Makina Nakajima, our Kyawawa little pink character in Macross Delta um, she has finally announced her pregnancy and of course the birth of her first child. We don't know what the gender is. Of course, we don't want to pry into personal matters. Let's let it be. Um, but you know, I'm personally very very happy for her. Uh, Nozomi is definitely one of my favorite um, seiyus out there. You know, even though she is not as big as other seiyus within the Macross franchise, we have of course um, the bigger ones will be Toyama now and of course uh, Suzuki Minori who has recently been booming very huge uh, ever since her debut as Freya Weon in Macross Delta so yes if you guys don't know all the Seiyu stuff it's okay you know I myself only really got into Seiyu fandom uh, thanks to Macross Delta <laughs> um, anyways so yes she announced that she is recovering and of course um, trying to tackle both um, her work as a idol slash voice actress slash um, you know singer and of course she's also taking care of her brand new firstborn so she's got a lot of things to balance on her plate so she has already announced officially on her Twitter account that you know she's grateful for everyone's concern and love and congratulations um, you know she would leave her Twitter account as it is you know even though she won't be posting as much uh, until she is ready to come back to work um, after she's tackled all the scheduling of you know her family and of course her health after giving birth to her firstborn child all right so Nozomi aside hopefully you guys have understood the situation behind her and why you're wondering where is Nozomi in all my cross delta episodes recently yes she has been taking maternity leave um, it's just that she didn't announce it officially until now I mean a lot of us have been guessing that you know she recently got married you know and of course she announced that she wants a family of course it's hinting that a child is on the way so it's pretty obvious <laughs> all right so Say use aside, let's move on to the next real world thing. So if you guys missed out on the The Culture Mixture live stream that recently was streamed on YouTube or Flying Dogs official YouTube channel, you can still watch it. Uh, it's still there, it's archived un until a certain time period. Um, but if you can, please go watch it within the next two days. Uh, it will disappear permanently after that. Listen to all the promotional soundtracks they, they personally picked. Um, to let you guys hear um, from the culture mixture that is coming up soon uh, basically in three days time <laughs> yes the culture mixture will be released very very soon I'm pretty excited for it um, yeah so we have the frontier lady singing the Valkyrie songs and of course the Valkyrie lady singing the frontier songs so that's pretty exciting uh, eventually more of these songs will be added to Utah Cross. But we don't know when. We've already gotten our samples of Ikenai Borderline and of course Sayonara, Sayonara no Tsubasa. Uh, we've already got the events going on. So yeah. So they've announced also um, that the Blu-ray for Macross Frontiers 
Galaxy Live Revenge 2021. So for those of you who actually managed to watch the concert via live stream, uh, of course it was a paid concert, you had to buy a ticket for an online live viewing um, URL. So from there you can watch the concert uh, if you are not in Japan, you know, that kind of thing. So yes, they've decided to create a physical Blu-ray copy of the live concert for so for Macross Frontier fans get excited, get your wallets broke. <laughs> As always, um, they're releasing the Blu-ray edition of the live concert and of course, as usual, there will be bonuses attached to it. So first thing they revealed was of course the cover art for the Blu-ray and of course the artwork is by the talented Risa Ibata. Um, as you can tell, the costume designs are actually based off what Mame Gu and Mayan wore during the live concert itself. Then followed by the stickers. These stickers are bonus exclusive. So for those of you who actually pre-order the Blu-ray this early, um, wherever your favorite Japanese retailer you're ordering from, usually HMV, AmiYami, Amazon Japan, so on and so forth. There are many places where you can order. Um, do take note, the bonus stickers um, are limited in quantity. So if you're aiming to get the stickers because this is the only way you can get them, these are the only Cheryl and Ranka stickers uh, illustrated this way. You can get it from only through this um, Blu-ray bonus. So make sure you go and pre-order as soon as you can. In fact, by the time I'm making this video, the pre-order on Amazon Japan that includes the stickers and Amazon's exclusive bonus which is usually the um, illustration of the cover um, printed on a, a, a sheet that you can use to frame up and you know use as a poster. Um, that pre-order is completely gone and it's being scalped now. <laughs> So when I actually posted that news on Instagram yesterday, where after the um, announcement was made in the live stream, I, I immediately screenshotted everything and uploaded while it was being announced. Um, if you guys actually follow me on Instagram and manage to pre-order your copy, good for you because now all those fans who got the news late have no way to get it from Amazon Japan anymore. If you order from any other Japanese retailers aside from Amazon Japan, you only get the stickers of Cheryl and Ranka and not the cover illustration poster uh, that usually Amazon gives out with. So that's kind of a bummer. And there's one other thing you need to take note of. There is three variations of this Blu-ray. Um, there's the regular edition, then of course there's the, the limited one that comes with the sticker. Um, then of course there is also the bread last important one that says gorgeous edition uh, oh wait okay let me clarify something so the regular edition is just basically the uh, live concert and of course there's the encore portion um, so the slightly rarer edition is um, of course there has the um, Cheryl Gnome birthday celebration at the uh, Messe event hall uh, which we did not get to see during the live stream as well then of course let me see what else is there so there's also the making and interview sections so if you guys are into that kind of thing yeah the second edition of the blu-ray is what you're looking for but if you want everything including the stickers so you can only get the stickers through this particular edition which is the gorgeous edition take note there is only 10,000 copies produced so yeah if you see it available for pre-order at any of the, your regular Japanese retailers you better get it now because there's only 10,000 sets available and yes only 10,000 people out there will get the stickers of Cheryl and Ranka so that's kind of a bummer <laughs> then of course um, aside from the stickers let me see what is that uh, backstage pass 
next strap that's also included. There's also gorgeous package. Okay, so apparently there's a special packaging for the gorgeous edition as well. Then of course there's a um, Nyan Dora no CD. I think there's something additional. So aside from all the regular stuff in the regular edition, then of course there's the the semi limited edition. Gorgeous has everything. So <laughs> if you're really a diehard Frontier fan, go for the Gorgeous edition. Like I said, uh, by the time you guys watch this video, the Gorgeous edition on Amazon Japan is completely gone. So make sure you go get it from um, HMV CD Japan, which is New Wing. Um, then of course there's um, Tower Records. You know your your usual stuff. Your places you go and get all these kind of things from. So make sure you go get your copy. 10,000 copies, that's not a lot. <laughs> so I already pre-ordered my copy of Amazon Japan, of course, because I got to know the information firsthand, and of course I got to tell you guys immediately uh, when the information surfaced from the live stream. So hopefully you guys managed to get your copy. Uh, if not, uh, try to find something that at least meets your needs in terms of fan goods. Alright, so enough of this, I think what we need to talk about now is um, yes, let's talk about the missions that are currently going on, especially with the April Fool's um, event. So yes, we have the April Fool events here, and of course we get the bag of natto there. So April Fool's event is not a daily event, it's just a one-time thing. All you have to do is play the April Fool's event song, which is Starlight Natto. <laughs> so yes, it's Ranka CM song. So strangely enough, we are getting a new song. Uh, of course, it is not new to us Frontier fans, but you know, it is new in terms of the the collection-wise of Uta Macross song list. So yes, strangely enough, this new song is being added this way through April Fools. I don't know if it will become a permanent song once April Fool passes by, but you know, the April Fool songs usually don't reappear. It may be without the April Fools um, funny animation sequence that they have included. <laughs> so who knows, maybe Starlight Nato will be added permanently but without all the funky background dancing. <laughs> so yes, all you have to do is just play Starlight Nato once and you'll clear this mission. So let me just claim the 50 singing stones here. That's fantastic. And of course, if you guys have been catching up with all the, um, the Culture Mixture Part 2 missions, um, I've been updating the, you know, the divas that need to be in center position on the Freya's Gacha video. Yes, the Freya's ice skating Gacha video. I've been updating there. Hopefully, you guys have been finding it useful to find out who needs to be in the center position. Um, technically, we have already gone through the whole group of Valkyrie ladies twice, and technically, we still have four more days of missions. So I don't know, maybe Reyna might not be getting another round of run through because there are five of them. There's only four more days left. So hmm. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do for the next four days. But if there's anything different, of course, I will update on that video. So make sure you go check that video out. It is the Freya ice skating gacha video. So yes, you know which one it is. The thumbnail has the image. <laughs> so make sure you do that. So today's diva, of course, is Reyna. Um, so have Reyna in center position. Play um, Sayonara no Tsubasa, sung by the Valkyrie ladies. Uh, full combo the song. That's the bare minimum. And hopefully you do it. Uh, so with all of this said, remember guys, always make sure you go and do this you need to improve your divas proficiency for the song so make sure you do it because starlight nato is brand new make sure you get at least the bare minimum of uh, proficiency level 3 for all your divas so you can use your skip tickets to gain event tickets um, that you need to play for the ticketing event right now and you know you can you know improve your proficiency for 
Sayonara no Tsubasa as well for all your divas. Make sure you do that. As you can see, I'm trying to do it. Um, but, you know, skip tickets are not enough, even after I've subscribed to the special pass, which actually gives me 18 skip tickets per day. Uh, unlike free to play players, you guys only get 9 copies. So, take note of that. Alright, so done with all the information updates. Wait, 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 wait. I still have version 5.3. Point zero to mention about so let's dive into the menu section we actually need to go to the setting portion all right so if you go into this one this particular tab here so it says the um, data uh, what do you call it um, tidying up I guess <laughs> so uh, in the past you cannot delete your game data completely so let's say for example you you've come to hate Uta Macross so much or even the franchise of Macross you don't want to have any more traces of it behind you can actually delete your account permanently so that's all your physical money that you've tossed into the game down the drain you cannot trace it back you can actually do this now so make sure you go to the menu, hit this data, um, you know, I what's that English word for it? Uh, data, <laughs> I, I can't remember what that, if I can remember what word I'm supposed to use, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. So yeah, anyways, so if you want to completely delete your data, hit this. So this was included in the 5.3.0 update. Like I said, it's not that important unless you really end up hating the game. Then you want to completely wipe out everything and start from scratch. Maybe, I don't know. This is one way to do it, but it's not a good idea. <laughs> so avoid going into this area. Alright, so that's it. Let's dive into the gacha portion of this video. It's been a long talk. Oh my goodness, I've spent... The usual time that I usually make for a gacha video into explaining all the updates that's going around Macross right now. <laughs> okay, let's dive 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 into Milane's brand new seven star base of plate. So total score four thousand two hundred and ninety four at its plus twenty five luck value. Without the luck, it comes in at four thousand and forty four, which is actually one point higher than the recent Makina and Reina 7 star episode plates. So we know that Makina and Rei Rei's episode plate came with special notes attached to it. So let's see if Milane's actually comes with one as well. Alright, so let's take a look at the stats on this episode plate. So Milane's episode plate focuses on voice and of course uh, soul and charm. Both of them take a shitty dive. <laughs> So that's telling you one thing about the um, current song. Even though it's not... I mean, the costume for Milane is not for this current event song. In fact, like I told you guys in the uh, April update video, this costume actually belongs to Dakedo Baby. So, hmm. <laughs> Anyways, pay attention to the divas that can actually use the episode plate. But like as usual, um, 7 star plates don't really matter uh, unless somehow or other you're trying to jack up a bit of points in your high score by using the high total points that usual 7 star episode play comes with um, if not you wouldn't really bother with who else can use the episode play because this only matters when it comes to live skills on the episode play itself center skill as usual if you use it for a macross 7 uh, song uh, of course you get 150% boost in score if not it's just 90% on any other series out there. Alright, moving along. Active skill. So we've got that combo bonus active skill. It's not fantastic. But, uh, you know, all the recent plates since... Um, I guess it was Ranka and Cheryl? I think it was. Um, they all started coming with combo bonus as their active skill. So, uh, you know... It, it's nice to have them around if, in case you need them, but like I said, for high score purposes, combo bonus, not a very good thing because 
if you can't really full combo the song, especially for higher difficulty songs like Extreme or Very Hard, it's kind of pointless. <laughs> Alright, Life Skill, Short Duration Ability, Score Up. So at the 45 second mark, for 10 seconds, your score is boosted by 20% up. Like I said, Life Skills on 7 star episode of plates are kind of uh, not worth noting. Anyways, let's move on to the very last page which is important. And yes! Milin comes with a special note attached to it as well, and it's an item note. So just like Makina, um, Milin's episode plate comes with an item note. So comparing to Makina and Milin, well, technically both of them are different colored plates. Makina's was a blue series song plate. Milin is a yellow series, and Milin is one point higher than Makina, but you know they have the same special note attached to it. Technically, both are equally good. So, yeah. So, should you pull Makina's plate? Uh, Makina's plate. Milane's plate. <laughs> yes, you should. Um, like I said, if you don't have a combo bonus active skill 7 star plate, why not? You know, you could always have it on standby. And Milane's plate actually helps with the current event. So if you guys still don't know, item notes actually help produce those points that you need for the ticketing event to rank you higher. So yes, this plate is definitely a must get. Even if you are not a Milan fan, it is a must get for any regular player out there. So guys, if you have the money or singing stones for it, you know, you might want to spend a bit more to pull. But like I said, Usually, the second second seven star episode plate for the month does not have any help in terms of you know giving you extra chances to pull out the um, the episode plate. Milanes has a bit of help because of the event gacha tickets given within the event itself. So, Basara fans, get your singing stones ready, get your money ready, because maybe. If this trend is following the same as Makina and Reina, maybe Basara's episode plate might come with a score note attached to it. Hmm. And finally, yes, Basara fans can get a bit more love from their husband though. Alright, so let's down dive down into you know pulling this. Um it seems like I've yet to get my event gacha tickets, so maybe in Basara's video I might do the additional template pool. But for now, let's do all the usual stuff. Let's do the free daily pool. Now is the evening session, that the time I'm recording this video. Let's see how today's luck is. We did get a bit of a load bar. Hmm. Okay, we get a single Valkyrie for a single pool. Does that mean we are leaning towards the good luck? Who knows? Let's skip this. Oh, costume points! Low digits as well. That seems like a good sign. Alright, let's check the Super Dimension Gacha. See whether there's any tickets expiring. And look at that cute Ranka Nato. <laughs> Alright, so 6th of April. 5 days. Yeah, technically I don't have to pull. Because I can keep it for Basara's Gacha video. No more guaranteed 5 star tickets. So let's do this. Let's do the free pool first from the featured banner before we do the step up gacha. Um, I'm gonna do the step up gacha for Milane because Milane is technically my third slash fourth waifu if you include Makina. <laughs> I guess. Okay. So nothing fantastic from the free pool. Ooh, ooh, double waifu combo. Low digits as well. Seems like today's luck is pretty decent. Hmm. But you know, saying this and that, is, we've, we've seen videos where I say it's pretty decent luck and it ends up being horrible. <laughs> Who knows? Let's see how it goes today. Alright, here's step one. Regular rate at a discounted cost of 400 stones. Ooh, load bar. Hmm. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, regular Valkyrie rarity. Okay, no red boxes. Ooh, two on the second blink. 
That's not good. Hmm. Oh, we got the original illustration for Dakino Baby. Hmm. Is it hinting something? Come on, two copies! Come, three! Wow! Come home to mama. Oh, number one waifu. Okay. Oh, Mikael Basara. Oh, what's with all the duplicates? Okay. Okay, let's move on. So we are going to step two. So, uh, guaranteed four star plate and above at the regular cost. Hmm. There we go. So 4 star plates is your rainbow box if you guys don't know. Okay, we did get a bit of load bar earlier. So regular Valkyrie rates, but we are definitely getting at least a rainbow box. Oh, 3 red boxes, so at least one of them will evolve. Hmm. More Darkado baby love. Okay, seems like all the red boxes are appearing last. Alright, here we go, the first one. Oh, Oni Chan Love. Okay, haven't seen Brera in a long time. Oh, lots of green. <laughs> Last red box. Wait, what? Oh, wait, it is a four star plate. Oh, <laughs> I was wrong. I'm sorry, it's not a rainbow box. But okay. Whatever. I forgot that Rainbow Box was like 5 star to 6 stars. Oh well. Got confused there. Alright, so now we are getting that guaranteed Rainbow Box. But it might evolve. Who knows. Uh, so yes, regular rate at a confirmed guaranteed 5 star episode plate. So hopefully that rainbow box might evolve to the featured 7 star. Hmm. That was a bit of a decent load speed there. 1, 2, 3. We should have 5, 6. 4, 5, sorry. I can't count. After giving you all the news, I'm, I'm too tired. Whoa, 2! Two, 2 rainbow boxes! Nice. Alright, more Mikael Basara love. More tiny waifu. Oh, first rainbow box. Oh my god, evil! I'm using my lane. Am I getting the costume? No, it's not, but it's definitely something I don't have. Oh my god, I'm getting closer to completing the cheerleader set. <laughs> That's nice. Alright, keep moving. Oh, oh, he's gonna evolve. Are we gonna evolve further? No, no. Okay, ooh, waifu costume. Nice. Alright, we still have one more rainbow box, so we got three rainbow boxes from this. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. No evolution. Oh, Sharon Apple. That's interesting. I don't think I have this. Yeah, yeah it's new for me. Yay, Kumo Kumo! <laughs> I think I am now short of um, one costume. Oh, yeah, so I'm short of Ray Ray's cheerleader. Co no, I still sh I still am short of Freya as well. No, wait, it's Makina. Oh, Makina's birthday comes with it too. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. But yes, one out of the three is down. So yes, if you guys cannot remember, uh, apparently I had to remind myself as well. Um, the cheerleader costume set for Valkyrie, three of them are seven star episode plates. So, finally, one out of the three have been gotten. Oh boy. Anyways, not too bad. You know, even though it's not Melane's episode plate that comes with a note attachment, but this is this is good. At least I'm reducing the amount of seven star plates that I've yet to collect. So, well, another load screen with the Nato Raka. <laughs> Just so cute. Alright, so as usual, step 4, 4 star and above, but the chance of a 6 star episode plate appearing is slightly higher 
Yeah, if you guys want to see the appearance rate, here it is. So it's a 2% rate now rather than a 1%. Alright, let's do it. Hopefully we get it. Oh, no load bars at all. That's not good. Okay. I think this is going to be a flop. Oh, two red boxes. Uh-oh. Why did it appear so soon? Alright, so I think this is going to be a flop. So I'm going to try and shorten the video length by just skipping this. Because it, it's guaranteed to be a flop pool. So as you can tell, nothing fantastic. Oh well, at least we got Makinas. I don't know, Makinas. Mikumos! Episode <laughs> I'm sorry guys. As usual, I'm fumbling. But, you know, it's just human nature. Alright. So let's do this. We're gonna do the discounted pool. So regular rate. Um, like I said, I will eventually get the event gacha tickets for Milane's gacha. Probably will do the pool in Basara's um, gacha video as well. Ooh, load bars. Come on, baby. Come on home. Two seven star plates in one video. Hmm, that would be nice. Although it would be nice to see triple or double episode. 7 star episode place in a single pool. That would be fantastic. Ooh, red boxes. Okay. This is kind of ominous. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't give me that face, Milene. Just come home already. Okay. Oh. She she got shocked because I scolded her. <laughs> oh no! What's with all the concerned faces? Oh no. Here we go. And that's it. Oh, don't you wink at me like this. You were supposed to come home. Goofava, don't... <laughs> don't support her. <laughs> this is not the way. <laughs> See, I'm having the expression as, as Gumlin right now. <laughs> I feel so trolled. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. It's, it's an exceptionally long video with all the updates. Especially since... It's pretty heavy stuff on the Macross series, or rather the fandoms around Macross itself. If you don't want me to make such long videos anymore, guys, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. Um, I post all the updates there. You know, if you guys are just watching my YouTube videos, I thank you as well. If you watch through the entire thing, I thank you greatly. All YouTubers will appreciate video watchers like you instead of those who just skip, skip, skip. You know, and go to whichever parts of the video that you want to watch only. Watch time is very important to any YouTuber out there. It helps grow the channel. So as usual guys, please do that for us YouTubers. We really appreciate it. And of course, do the usual stuff. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Bye!